But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6.33 Here is a double argument against the sin of thoughtfulness. Take no thought for your life, the life of the body. For 1. You have greater and better things to take thought about. The life of your soul, your eternal happiness. That is the one thing needful. Luke 10.42 About which you should employ your thoughts, and which is commonly neglected in those hearts wherein worldly cares have the ascendant. If we were but more careful to please God, and to work out our own salvation, we should be less solicitous to please ourselves, and work out an estate in the world. Thoughtfulness for our souls is the most effectual cure of thoughtfulness for the world. 2. You have a surer and easier, a safer and more compendious way to obtain the necessities of this life than by carking and caring and fretting about them, and that is, by seeking first the kingdom of God and making religion your business. Say not that this is the way to starve. No, it is the way to be well provided for, even in this world. Observe here. 1. The great duty required. It is the sum and substance of our whole duty. Quote, Seek first the kingdom of God. Mind religion as your great and principal concern. Unquote. Our duty is to seek, to desire, pursue, and aim at these things. It is a word that has in it much of the constitution of the new covenant in favor of us. Though we have not attained, but in many things fail and come short, Sincere seeking, a careful concern, and an earnest endeavor, is accepted. Now observe, first, the object of this seeking, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We must mind heaven as our end, and holiness as our way. Quote, Seek the comforts of the kingdom of grace and glory as your felicity. Aim at the kingdom of heaven. Press towards it. Give diligence to make it sure. Resolve not to take up short of it. Seek for this glory, honor, and immortality. Prefer heaven and heavenly blessings far before earth and earthly delights." Unquote. We make nothing of our religion if we do not make heaven of it. And with the happiness of this kingdom, seek the righteousness of it, God's righteousness, the righteousness which he requires to be wrought in us and wrought by us such as exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees. We must follow peace and holiness. Hebrews 12.14 Secondly, the order of it. Seek first the kingdom of God. Let your care for your souls and another world take the place of all other cares, and let all the concerns of this life be made subordinate to those of the life to come. We must seek the things of Christ more than our own things. And if ever they come in competition, we must remember to which we are to give the preference. Quote, Seek these things first. First in thy days, let the morning of thy youth be dedicated to God. Wisdom must be sought early. It is good beginning be times to be religious. Seek the first every day. Let waking thoughts be of God. Unquote. Let this be our principle to do that first which is most needful, and let him that is the first have the first. 2. The gracious promise annexed. All these things, the necessary supports of life, shall be added unto you, shall be given over and above. So it is in the margin. You shall have what you seek, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, for never any sought in vain that sought in earnest. And besides that, you shall have food and raiment, by way of overplus, as he that buys goods and has paper and packthread given him in the bargain. Godliness has the promise of the life that now is. 1 Timothy 4.8 Solomon asked wisdom, and had that and other things added to him. 2 Chronicles 1, 11 and 12 Oh, what a blessed change would it make in our hearts and lives! did we but firmly believe this truth, that the best way to be comfortably provided for in this world 
is to be most intent upon another world. We then begin at the right end of our work, when we begin with God. If we give diligence to make sure to ourselves the kingdom of God and the righteousness thereof, as to all the things of this life, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide as much of them as he sees good for us, and more we would not wish for. Have we trusted in him for the portion of our inheritance at our end? And shall we not trust him for the portion of our cup, in the way to it? God's Israel were not only brought to Canaan at last, but had their charges borne through the wilderness. Oh, that we were more thoughtful about the things that are not seen, that are eternal, and then the less thoughtful we should be, and the less thoughtful we should need to be, about the things that are seen, that are temporal. Also regard not your stuff. Genesis 45, 20 and 23.